Have you ever wondered about the most unique festivals around the world? Festivals, a vibrant reflection of a community's culture, are more than just fun. They are symbolic, deeply ingrained in tradition and history, and vary as widely as the places they originate from. From the vibrant colors of the Kumbh Mela in India to the peculiar Yorkshire pudding boat race in the UK, the world is full of intriguing celebrations that challenge the norm and captivate the senses. Embark on this global journey with us as we delve into the fascinating world of unique festivals. Let's turn back time to the oldest festival in the world, Nowruz. Dating back over 3,000 years, Nowruz, or Persian New Year, is a celebration of life and rebirth that takes place at the vernal equinox, marking the start of spring. This festival, deeply rooted in the rich tapestry of Persian culture, is a testament to humanity's enduring connection with nature. No Ruse transcends national borders, religious divides, and cultural differences. From Iran to Central Asia, from the Caucasus to the Balkans, millions of people come together to celebrate this time-honored tradition. The celebration is filled with unique customs and rituals. The haft scene table, laden with seven symbolic items starting with the letter S in Persian, is one of the most distinctive aspects of this festival. The festival of No Ruse is an embodiment of renewal and hope. It's a time when people clean their homes, forgive past grudges, and look forward to a fresh start. It's a moment of unity and joy, a testament to the power of tradition in bringing people together. From the oldest, we now travel through time to some more modern, yet equally unique festivals. Ever thought of rolling in the mud or throwing tomatoes for fun? Well, some festivals celebrate just that. Let's travel to Boryong, a small town in South Korea that hosts the Mud Festival every summer. This unique festival draws millions from around the globe, all united by one common goal, to get downright dirty. It's not just about the mudslides, mud prison, mud pools, and mud skiing. There's a deeper cultural context. The festival started in 1998 as a marketing event for Boryong Mud Cosmetics. That's right, the mud in Boryong is believed to be rich in minerals, bentonites, and germaniums, excellent for the skin. Now let's fly over to Spain, specifically to the town of Bunol. Every year on the last Wednesday of August, this town turns red, not with paint, but with tomatoes. Enter La Tomatina, the world's biggest food fight. Picture this, over 100 metric tons of overripe tomatoes, all destined to be hurled at each other by festival goers. But it's not just a free-for-all. There are rules. The tomatoes must be squashed before throwing to avoid injuries. And once the second cannon fires, the tomato throwing must cease. Like the Mud Festival, La Tomatina also has its roots in tradition. It began in the mid-40s, and while its origin story isn't clear, it's been a staple of Bunol ever since. These festivals, while seemingly bizarre, are a testament to the rich and diverse cultures they stem from. They invite us to let go, to embrace the unusual, and to find joy in the unconventional. So, if you've ever fancied a mud bath or a tomato fight, you know where to head. If you thought that was bizarre, wait until you hear about our next festival. How about playing music underwater or engaging in a guitar duel with no guitars? Now, that's something you don't hear every day. But in the world of unique festivals, it's just another day's work. Let's dive into the Underwater Music Festival in Florida, a melodious symphony beneath the waves. Just imagine, submerged in the warm azure waters of Florida, surrounded by a colorful array of sea life, and the only sounds you hear are the sweet strains of music. It's not your usual concert experience, that's for sure. Held annually in the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, this festival is a celebration of ocean conservation as much as it is about music. The instruments, specially crafted for underwater use, emit sounds that are projected through waterproof speakers. And the best part? You can be a spectator, a scuba diver, or even an underwater musician. But if you prefer your music with a little less water and a lot more air, then you might fancy the Air Guitar Championship in Finland. Here, the stage is set for those who dare to rock out with an invisible guitar. It's a spectacle of passion, energy, and pure imagination. Participants from all over the world come to perform their best air guitar solos, with nothing but their fervor and an imaginary six-string. It's a competition that's less about technical prowess and more about the spirit of music and performance. These festivals are incredible examples of how creativity and fun can transform simple ideas into unforgettable experiences. They remind us that music isn't just about the notes and chords, it's about the spirit, the emotion, and sometimes the lack of a physical instrument altogether. From underwater tunes to invisible guitars, we now move to a festival that's all about speed. 
Fancy sailing in a boat made of pudding? Then you'd love the Yorkshire Pudding Boat Race. Now let's take a virtual trip to the United Kingdom, where this unique festival takes place. The Yorkshire Pudding Boat Race is a whimsical event that celebrates the region's famous dish in an unusual way. Originating in the late 90s, this delightful tradition involves participants racing across a river in boats made entirely of Yorkshire pudding. Yes, you heard that right. These boats are coated in varnish to make them waterproof, ensuring they don't turn into a soggy mess halfway through the race. The race is as much about fun as it is about competition. It's a spectacle of laughter, cheering, and occasionally, good-natured splashing. The sight of grown men and women paddling furiously in oversized pastries is sure to bring a smile to anyone's face. But it's not just about the laughs. The Yorkshire Pudding Boat Race also fosters community spirit and celebrates a beloved regional dish in a way that's as unique as the pudding itself. From a fast-paced pudding race, we now move to a festival that's all about tranquility. Imagine a sky filled with colorful kites. This is the reality at the International Kite Festival in Gujarat. Each year, this awe-inspiring event transforms the Indian sky into a magnificent canvas of vibrant hues. But it's not just about the visual spectacle. There's a fierce competition at the heart of this festival, where skilled kite flyers from across the globe converge to showcase their talents. The International Kite Festival is more than a celebration of kite flying. It's a cultural phenomenon that brings together people from all walks of life. Everyone, from the young to the elderly, comes to participate, making it a truly inclusive event. The festival is steeped in tradition and is a testament to the rich cultural heritage of Gujarat. It's a time when the community comes together, sharing in the joy of flying kites, cheering for their favorite competitors, and soaking in the festive atmosphere. The serenity of the sky filled with kites, the exhilarating competition, the sense of community, all these factors contribute to the unique charm of the International Kite Festival. It's a spectacle like no other, a festival that truly captures the spirit of unity and diversity. From the tranquil skies of Gujarat, we now move to a festival that's all about the bazaar. Babies crying is usually a cause for concern, but not at the Naki Sumo Crying Baby Festival in Japan. Picture this, a sumo wrestler, known for their strength and size, gently cradling a baby, the epitome of fragility. Now, the twist. The sumo wrestler's goal is to make the baby cry. Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to the Naki Sumo Crying Baby Festival, a unique spectacle that turns the usual parental instinct on its head. Held every year at the Sensoji Temple in Tokyo, this festival is far from a display of distress. The crying of the babies is considered to bring good health and ward off evil spirits. But how do these hulking sumo wrestlers coax the tears? Some resort to making funny faces, others to gentle whispers, and a few even roar like a lion. It's all in good fun and steeped in tradition and belief. The Naki Sumo Crying Baby Festival is a testament to Japan's richness in culture and tradition. It's not just about the spectacle, but the underlying belief in the power of a baby's cry to bring about good luck and health. From crying babies to a festival that celebrates a rather unusual animal. Celebrating the humble pig, we have the La Porcayade Festival in France. A unique event that unfolds in tree sur -Bays, a quaint village in the heart of the Haute Pyrenees. This festival, held each August, reveres the pig in all its glory. La Porcayade is a day filled with pig-themed competitions, including the Pig Squealing Championship. This quirky contest sees participants imitating the sounds of a pig as convincingly as possible, providing a hilariously entertaining spectacle. But it's not all fun and games. The festival also highlights the cultural significance of pigs in the region's history. From the piglet race to the black pudding eating contest, each event is a nod to the role pigs have played in local agriculture and cuisine. The festival culminates in the crowning of the Pork King, who is awarded for the best pig-themed costume. It's a day that celebrates community spirit, heritage, and of course, the pig. From pig-themed festivals to the end of our global festival journey. From the oldest to the most unusual, we've traversed the globe exploring unique festivals, We've discovered why babies cry in Japan and how puddings float in the UK. We've danced underwater in Florida and strummed air guitars in Finland. We've seen kites fill the sky in Gujarat and pigs celebrated in France. These aren't just festivals, they're expressions of culture, celebrations of life and testaments to the human spirit's inventiveness. If you enjoyed this journey and want to discover more fascinating facts about the world, don't forget to subscribe for more educational content.